Yeah. Mary broke it. Oh, come on. Hey everybody, on this episode of Unglued Modeler, we have another 3D printed automata for you. So you might remember we printed one of these guys. It's a, the little flying turtle, which we uh, got to work after a little bit of uh, finagling here. This time we got a little polar bear trying to grab a seal. It's the same designer, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah so we got uh, the files on uh, Thingiverse from Amochan. Right there. And he, uh, this person also has um, a YouTube channel and YouTube videos for it too, so you can also check their, them out. Uh, we'll put, post the links below. But um, we're super excited. It took us a little while to print this all out. We had some trouble with the 3D printer, but everything's all like together. always. Yeah, right? But we got different colors. We got the little salmon, pink salmon, yay. But, um, and you could see, all these little pieces here. So the polar bear's head has eyeballs and a nose. So these were the hardest to print out. Yeah, those are tiny. Yeah, they're a little deformed and we had to kind of uh, clip them a little bit to get it to work right. Anybody in the 3D printing will realize that those are very, very yeah, hard to so print, hard. stuff that small. And then the but next, everything else came out really yeah, good. The next smallest part was like the nose for the seal, um, but everything else printed out really well. You can see. Yeah. Uh, not too much going on, but yeah, it looks uh, everything looks good. We uh, printed at a 0.1 resolution, so that's the finest resolution for our Ender 3. But it came out good, and uh, Mary's gonna start putting it together yeah, for us. Together. Let's so see if she remembers the video. I know, right? <laughs> hopefully, we can put it together and not break anything this time. So, <laughs> I'm hoping. But um, all right, let's all right. go. What do you together. start with? All right, so uh, you get the little cam for the arm, and this was actually printed all in one piece, and you just have to actuate it to break it apart. Um, that was pretty easy. So, uh, from what I remember, you just shove it in there, I believe, just like that. And then you put this guy together here, and it's supposed to snap together. Yeah, I think there's a lot of keyways and yeah. snappy things. You don't have any. Together. There. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Let me see if I can do it this way better. Yeah. It's supposed to snap together. I just don't want to break it. There we go. All together, the top looks there. there it goes. Yeah. Yeah. That's and then you right. could, you could. Okay. Yeah. See it. Yeah. There you go. There. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Put the arm on. Right if anybody's um, mm -hmm. gonna print this, a uh, little trick I read in the comments. Mm -hmm. You print his arm and the seal at a hundred percent infill. So basically, the arm and the seal are. 100%. 100% they're solid For plastic because okay. you need extra weight because it needs to fall back down. So uh, the rest is printed at I think 15, maybe 20% infill, okay. but the polar bear's arm and the, the the seal, solid plastic, so you need extra weight. And then the, the polar bear's head, let's see if I can get this right. So it should just slip in there. There we go, snaps in. Okay. There. A nose, and then the eyes, these are gonna be hard. I'm gonna have to get the tweezers out. So they should just snap in. Yeah. Just leave them for later. We'll dab a glue them. He's gonna mm -hmm. keep falling out the whole time. Just set them aside and we'll put a little dab of glue on. Wonky eyeball. Last step. All right, Let's so we got the little seal guy. Um, put his little nose on. So just snaps right in. And then he gets a little fish, a little fish. salmon in the mouth. Salmon. Feed him. Okay, little guy. Probably a very, I think it's a real tight fit. You gotta wiggle it on there. Oh, is it? There you go. I think okay. you got it. And then this is the little cam for this guy, and I believe he went. There we go. So he goes on the side right here, it just fits in. Okay. And then you can see the two arrows, they just meet up. Oh, okay. yeah. That's cool. Mm. 
All right. And then we got this guy. So he goes this way. It's all they're all keyed. Like that slips in nicely. And then this guy slips in this way. And there's a little key right there. And nope. there we go. Whew. <laughs> Go. So we get those together. Now we're gonna actually put the plates on. All right. So this way, and I believe it's not confusing. No, it's not. Not too bad. Just uh, it's a lot of different things at once. I just want to break it. Oh, I hear you. <laughs> There we go. There. All right. So this guy goes up in the it all in. So just gotta be careful, make sure everything fits in there. That's my slide. Will you fit in there for me? Oh, I think I have them on the wrong way. I guess that doesn't look right. No. I think it goes this way. So the holes make sure they line up. So this one's the big hole on this side and then there's the small one. So there we go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that guy goes there. Seems to be going better than the turtle, though. I know, at least they fit. The parts Better than you. <laughs> oh, poor turtle. He just wanted to fly. All right, make sure the little back part fits in there. Gotta be super careful because that's a tiny little uh, yeah, piece right there. Yeah. So I just want to make sure. All these guys fit in really well. This guy's the hardest. Don't fail me now. Okay. There we go. Always. Got it all lined up. Oh my goodness. It slipped in, cool. tightened in. Boom. Right, I think we're on our way. I think we're good. Well, yeah. almost there. Okay. All right. Main frames together. Yep. And then look, see? It goes up. Yep. So. Okay, cool. Now we put the gear in. The big gear. Yep. There's a little notch. Line it up. Boom. Cool. And then here's a little clip that you also 3D printed with it. Everything comes with it. And you just slide it in. There. Oh, look at that. Oh. I'm so happy. <laughs> yeah, you feeling way better. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, here's the little handle. Let me just make sure that it's with the key. Goes in with the gear. And then this is the clip for the inside. So you just uh, clip it in. I think I did it right. Yeah, yeah it goes right there. Clip it in like this. And then this little nub sits against yeah, you. Yeah, like a little keyway thing. Yeah. All right, hold on. Oh, I gotta make sure you, and make sure you push it all the way in so that it fits, because I noticed that I didn't have it all the way in. So, there we go. So it's, oh, okay. yeah, the handle's all flush. Just wanna make sure the little key goes in. There, whoo, <laughs> there we go. Handle. So, and just clip it in. Please don't break. There. Ooh, that went yeah, nice. I know. All right, 
and then Mr. Seal goes back there. All right, top plate looks like a little iceberg. And let's see. So I believe it sits this way because this is the opening for Mr. Seal. Just sits on top. And then clips in. Clips down. Cool. All right, now Mr. Polar Bear. So he's got little notches here. You sit him down there. You know what? We totally forgot the head. <laughs> what is that? Little guy. That's the head is polar bear. Should probably do that first. Always forget something. There. All right, the head. And then, all right. Last step. Last step. So, um, I th yep, this little uh, notch goes into the hand or his arm. So the little yep. polar bear got his little lever hanging out yep. of his butt. Butt lever. Butt lever. <laughs> and then we just snap it together. There. Yep, you're getting your Russian. No, I was not. I think it'll hold though. He'll be fine. So this is the little bottom part of the lever. Okay. Let's see if this works this way. Yeah. Oh, his arm didn't fall yeah. though. Yeah. Mary broke it. Oh, come on. <laughs> It was working fine. Everything was working fine. Well, back to the 3D printer. At least we got that working. I think that's about a three hour, two or three hour print. That guy. A two or three hour part. Aww. So, luckily you guys just see a quick camera cut. And we will be back. All right, we're back. So, I was able to pry apart the polar bear very carefully. I just used a small little screwdriver and very gingerly took it off the base. Pull him apart, took his head off of course. And here's the broken piece, that little corner right there popped off. So you can see it was a little bit of a, a weak point. So, we're a new one. <laughs> and we put a little bit of modeling cement on there, hopefully to reinforce it. You can see that it's a little shiny there. So maybe that'll make a difference. I don't know, let's put it together. All just right, let's see if when you're snapping works. it on, just be careful. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Okay, mm -hmm. so let's see. All right, hello. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Here's where I kind of right. messed it up a little bit. Here's where the new part comes Hopefully in. Hopefully it'll work. If it breaks, we're gonna just. I'm gonna lose my mind. Well, well I don't there. Know. Woo. Okay, did not break. All right, it just break. wasn't in all the way. Yeah. yeah. All okay. right. Let's see if this works. Fully together. Um, hold on. Let's make sure everything's all. There we go. And just. There. There. All right, it's working. Yeah, just a little tight. I bet you it just needs a little bit of Well, in the direction oil. it says you gotta oil him up too. Yeah. But everything seems to work okay. A little tight. Yeah, cool, <laughs> show the, let me show the gear side. Okay. Are you able to work it here? Yeah, let me see. Hold on. Ugh. Here we go. There. Yeah? So it's pretty cool. Yeah, if we grease them up a little bit, they'll do pretty good. But we didn't have to use any weird parts. Cool. Like for Mr. Flying Turtle. So, yeah, we got the uh, polar bear and the, the turtle. Yeah. So these are uh, both of the Mao Chan's <clears throat> automata. Yep, you can find them on Thingiverse. So he's, uh, I don't know if it's a he or she, but that designer has a lot more. So I'm sure we're gonna be finding quite a few of them and printing them up. 
pretty well. We, I love these things, these automata. Yeah, they're fun. Yeah, they're a lot of fun. Well, 3D printing for some stuff to do when it's too windy out or rainy or something. Yeah. And it's it's good practice because we're not very good at 3D printing. So, I mean, these are good to get us uh, better at it. Actually, it takes a lot more work than we thought. So, a lot more finesse to 3D print stuff. But, um, yeah, thanks for joining us. Like, comment, subscribe. If you have any suggestions or any questions, feel free to put it in the comment sections. And uh, thanks for watching. All right, thanks everyone.